Good morning and welcome to day 10 of the January Kickstart Challenge. Can you believe we are almost a third of the way done? I can't, it's kind of flown by, but I have to say that I am feeling so much better. And the last few nights, my sleep has been so much better. Everything is kind of falling into place and I'm feeling really good. So, it is Wednesday and I am headed to work. I am bringing the chocolate mint cookie crisp bar because I am already 12 minutes late for work and I have to run out the door. Plus, I like to have this with black coffee. I got a busy day today. I'm gonna to bring you along with me, but for now, I'm going to head to work. You'll see what I have for my second fueling and then I'll be home for lunch. thousand times before Baby, it's now or never Gotta leave this town And I know what you're asking for You say it's out of my reach But I can't pretend no more Well, I made it home for lunch and you saw that I made the cheddar biscuit. And what's funny is I've made that several times. You know that if you've been watching my channel. And this time my air fryer blew it to kingdom come and it was stretched out like, like that much because normally I cut them in half and then put my laughing cow in the middle and close it. But um, this time I just put the laughing cow directly on the biscuit because it was already kind of flat. So, but it was still good. I love that biscuit. I still have some of the biscuits from the select line. I probably should use those too before they go bad. All right, I am gonna head back to work. You'll see what I have for my fourth fueling. And then when I come home from work, I have a Zoom right at five o'clock. So I'm gonna jump right on that, and then I have a nail appointment at 6.30. So after my Zoom, I am going to have a Flavors of Home. I think I'm gonna try the beef stew, so you can see that. And then I'm not sure what I'm doing after my nails. Um, I may visit my daughter, I may come home and do the treadmill, so we will see. All right, I will check back later. This town and I know what you're asking for You say it's out of my reach But I can't pretend no more Cause for as long as I remember It's been stuck inside Okay so I obviously made it home from work and I had my five o'clock Zoom, but then I got a call from the nail salon that I go to and they wanted me to come in early. So I ran to the nail salon right after the Zoom and got my nails done. And I think they did a very pretty job. Um, and I got home and I was starving because it was like three and a half hours since my last fueling. So thank goodness for the flavors of home. Now, if you don't know what they are, they are the lean and greens that you can buy on the Optavia website. And that was the beef stew. And I thought that was pretty good. Um, and it hit the spot and it just heats up in the microwave for 90 seconds and you have it. 
So that was really good. I didn't have time to make a lean and green. And so now I am going to show you, I got my wild fork box in the mail today. And if you haven't seen this before on my channel, Wild Fork is where I like to get my salmon. And I also get some beef medallions and some shrimp. And I will show you exactly uh, what I got. Okay, it always comes packaged so that it remains frozen. And it has dry ice. And it's well insulated. Can see the papers and dry ice. Yep, it is all still frozen. So these are the salmon fillets that I really like to get from Wild Fork. Um, they end up cooking down to be uh, almost perfectly five ounces. And they have a really good taste, always. Not too fishy, they're just really nice. And I got two packages of the salmon fillets. They come four in a package. And they're not that uh, badly priced. I believe they're like $16.95 for the four pack. And then I got the extra large shrimp. And what I like about their shrimp is that it is already peeled and deveined, but it is still raw. So whenever I'm ready to have shrimp, I just have to thaw some out in some warm water and throw them in a pan. And they're always good. And then finally, I've had these before. These are the uh, beef thick center cut sirloin medallions. And there's four of them in this package. And sometimes, especially when I'm just trying to keep things simple, I like to have a steak and a side of vegetables such as broccoli or green beans, or maybe a steak and a salad. And these are really nice cuts of beef. Well, that is the extent of my big Wild Fork unboxing, but I wanted to show you guys that. And again, I get uh, all of this at wildfork.com. So I am gonna put these away. I am going to try to do half an hour on the treadmill, and then I'll be back for my last fueling. I will see you then. time for my last fueling. And yes, I am having the uh, cinnamon cream cheese swirl cake, which has been uh, retired a while back. As a matter of fact, this packet actually expired a couple months ago, but I'm going to try it anyways, because I think I've got about seven or eight left and I should probably use them. So I had the flavors of home for my lean and green tonight. And it's my understanding that you still get three condiments for the day. And so I had the laughing cow at lunch and I had some fat-free ready whip here on my cream cheese cinnamon swirl cake. So I'm going to enjoy this, relax for a little bit and head to bed. I've had a really busy, 
long day, but I did manage to do the treadmill. So I am proud of myself because I really didn't want to, but Mike's going to come over tomorrow. And so I know I won't do it tomorrow night. So I'm actually excited for Mike to come over. I'm trying a new recipe and I'm also going to try out a new recipe for a dessert fueling and have Mike do his taste test. So that will be tomorrow. I'm going to say good night and I will see you in the morning. Hello and welcome to day 11 of the January Kickstart Challenge. And I've run out of fingers. As you saw, I am bringing the cinnamon roll cake mix to work to try today. Now, last night I had the old select cinnamon cream cheese swirl cake. So I want to compare them in taste. So I am bringing that to work. And then you'll see what I have for my second fueling and I should be home for lunch. And like I said, I'm excited because tonight Mike is coming over and I am going to have him taste test my new recipe, which is beef and broccoli. And then I have a dessert fueling hack to have Mike try as well. So I'm gonna head to work and I will see you later. Got my coffee cup to go and I'm gonna hit the road tonight. Now my wheels in motion and my So I made it home for lunch and you saw what I had. I had the home style chicken noodle soup and that hit the spot because it is freezing here and it's only getting colder. I think we're gonna have below zero wind chills come this weekend. So I tried the uh, cinnamon rolled cake as compared to last night having the cinnamon cream cheese swirl cake. And I have to say that the new cinnamon roll cake is better. It has a more cinnamony, if that's a word, uh, taste than the cinnamon cream cheese swirl cake. However, both were good. And I was glad to see that my cinnamon swirl cake was still okay, even though it had expired a few months ago. So I think I will incorporate my last few packets of that. All right, I'm gonna head back to work. You'll see what I have for my fourth fueling, and then I'll be home to make my lean and green recipe and to hang out with Mike. See you then. Well, I made it back from work and I am assembling everything I need to make my lean and green which is beef and broccoli stir fry from Sandy's Kitchen Adventures. I'm gonna tell you what the recipe calls for and what I'm gonna do, uh, but first I want to acknowledge, yes, I am in the same sweatshirt that I was in yesterday, 
but I just love it because my son Michael got it for me for Christmas and it's super soft. And yes, my alma mater is Ohio State. I went there for undergrad and law school. So go Bucks. All right, back to the recipe. So what I'm gonna use is 14 ounces of steak cut into strips. And I used Eye of Round that I got at Aldi the other day. And then I'm gonna cut up, it calls for green pepper and red pepper. I've got yellow pepper and red pepper, a half a cup each. And I probably should mention this recipe is for two servings. And you're gonna use a tablespoon of brown gravy mix and two tablespoons of light soy sauce. I use a soy sauce alternative, the Bragg's Liquid Aminos, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, a cup of broccoli florets, and then I'm gonna serve it over, for Mike, I always keep rice in a cup size frozen in the freezer so I can just pop it out and heat it in the microwave. So Mike will have his over regular white rice and my stir fry will be over a half cup of riced cauliflower. And basically it's pretty easy. I, um, I combine the gravy mix, a quarter cup of water, the soy sauce, and the spices in a small bowl and set it aside. And then in my skillet, I'm going to brown my steak and make sure not to overdo it, maybe for about three or four minutes. And then when that's done, I stir in the broccoli and peppers and gravy mixture and bring it to a boil. And I reduce the heat to low and I cover it and simmer it for five to eight minutes. And like I said, then I will serve it over riced cauliflower for me and regular rice for Mike. And when all is said and done, it is one lean, three greens, and three condiments per serving. Now, I did mention that later on, I'm going to do a fueling hack for Mike to try for dessert for my last fueling. And that does require a condiment. I'm just not gonna use the condiment on my portion of the dessert. We'll, we'll save it for Mike. He's not on plan. All right, so I'm going to turn the camera down and you can see how I prepare this. And then we'll check back with Mike to see how he liked it.
I just finished my lean and green and it was absolutely delicious. And it was super easy to make and didn't really require much time at all for preparation. So that is definitely a recipe that I will try again. And I will link the recipe below. Hey, Mike. Yeah. Come here. I want, I want you to tell my viewers if you liked the lean and green. Oh, the, the, the stir fry? Yeah. Yeah, it was great. It was fantastic. You liked it? You said it, you thought it was delicious, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yep, he was a clean plater. Yeah, there wasn't anything left. So we're going to watch Oppenheimer for a little bit, and then I'll be back for my last fueling, which I am making another recipe from Sandy's Kitchen chocolate cake with peanut butter filling Ooh. and chocolate syrup yum and mike is going to taste test it okay then <laughs> all right we will see you back for my last feeling What do you think of your brownie dessert? Well, considering it's almost already gone, it's really good. <laughs> you got some chocolate syrup and some fat-free Ready Whip, but I did not because I didn't have any condiments left in the day. But tastes them pretty good? Yeah. Can you taste the peanut butter in the middle? I can now. Okay. Well, thank you for being our taste tester. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you give that? 8. 8? Well, it's a solid eight. All right. Say goodbye. Go Browns. <laughs> yes, they are in the playoffs for the first time in a long time this weekend. So go Browns. All right. Well, you heard it from Mike. The fueling hack was a winner. But I will say it's not my favorite one I've ever done. I really liked the one with the brownie bottom with the mint chocolate soft serve on top. I'll have to uh, remember which video that's from and link that up here. That was a really good one. If you like this video, please like it below and subscribe to my channel. And tick that notification bell so you are alerted every time I upload a new video. I'm going to say goodnight and I will see you in the morning.